In this video, I'm going to take a look at Ortlieb's latest addition to their bike packing line, their bike packing frame bags. Is this the frame bag you've been waiting for? Find out in this video. So welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about bike travel, bike touring, bike packing, and bike fishing, then uh, definitely consider subscribing. This channel is for you. So over the last two weeks, Laura and I have been in Montana and we took uh, four bikes and a whole assortment of bags and racks uh, to help us carry stuff on the different rides that we were doing. And during that time, I really got a chance to get familiar with the Ortlieb frame bag. So I'm gonna talk about mine in particular, which is the medium sized bag. But a lot of these comments also apply to Laura's and she is using the larger size uh, Ortlieb frame bag. As a broad overview, this frame bag uh, attaches to your bike like every other frame bag. It uses uh, these three main Velcro straps on the top which are nice and herky. One nice touch with these uh, three main straps is there's a slightly tacky, slightly texturized surface so the bag won't shift uh, on your frame. It, and it'll also help protect the frame. In addition to the three main Velcro straps that are kind of welded onto the uh, frame, you also get these uh, Velcro strips that you can move along the sides of the bag to kind of really dial it in on your bike. These straps kind of work just as you would suspect uh, there are these kind of welded loops uh, on this side of the bag and on the bottom and you can simply move these around uh, depending on your frame geometry and make sure that uh, it holds your bag snugly. So this bag also features uh, this big herky waterproof zipper which is pretty cool. Um, and, and of course, uh, being Ortlieb, this bag is completely waterproof when it's zipped up. You could probably dunk this in the pool and whatever's in here is going to be perfectly dry. Over here in the front, uh, to prevent the uh, zipper pull from hitting your leg as you ride, there's a little place to just kind of slip the uh, pull handle in there so it doesn't flop around. So inside the bag, let me open this. Uh, it's just essentially one big compartment. There is kind of this, let me remove this. There is kind of this, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is a Velcro tab in here that attaches to a, another Velcro tab that's uh, welded onto this side. And uh, the idea being that it'll keep the bag from getting too wide when it has things in it. I think this is good in theory, but in practice, uh, at least the way I've been using the bag, which is carrying a big two liter uh, bladder of water, when I have the bladder of water in here, it actually kind of renders this, uh, these Velcro tabs useless since the bladder is in the way. So that's it for kind of the, the super quick uh, features overview. Uh, so what do I like and what do I dislike about the Ortlieb medium size frame bag? So the first big like is the build quality. Just like with Ortlieb's painters, uh, their frame bag, their seat bag, everything that they make, uh, is just so nicely made. They pick really nice components and the materials are assembled really, really well. Uh, you know, the welding and the seams on this are, are, are impeccable. Um, you know, the heft of the zipper, everything just feels like it's gonna be built to last. So definitely a big like for the durability and quality build. Another big like for me, since I ride uh, smaller frames, usually between 52, 54, a uh, small size El Mariachi, I've found a frame bag that actually fits my bikes. Uh, I can't tell you how much of a problem this is. It seems like bike packing is made for really tall people, but uh, they forget short people in the process. And I'm just stoked that uh, this bag works both on my uh, size 54 Salsa Vaya and the tiny little space in my Salsa El Mariachi. So if you are a shorter rider and you ride smaller frames, uh, then definitely consider this one. I'm not gonna guarantee that it's gonna fit perfectly for you, uh, but for me, uh, it, it seems to work pretty well. Another big like is that it has a fairly narrow profile. So even though I can't use these uh, Velcro tabs inside, when I have the two liter uh, bladder of water there, a pump and some food and an extra layer, uh, as full as it gets, it still doesn't interfere with my pedaling stroke. It doesn't hit my knees or anything. So that's a big plus. Another big positive is with all these welded loops, uh, you can really accommodate it to different size frames. So like I said, I used it on a road style bike and a mountain bike. And by simply shifting where these Velcro tabs are, uh, there's a lot of adjustability. I was able to dial it in so the, the bag wasn't uh, wobbling around while I was riding. 
So that's a lot of likes, but there are a couple things that uh, I had questions about and uh, kind of disliked about the bag. And uh, none of them were necessarily deal breakers, but it's definitely things that I want to bring up with this bag. So one of the first things is that uh, the placement of the zipper is on the uh, non-drive side. So when you're taking a picture of your bike, uh, this is what you're gonna see. And it just seems weird that uh, you get kind of like the back side of the bag when you uh, show the drive side of your bike for pictures. And I know this isn't, it's not a huge deal breaker, but aesthetically uh, part of it bothers me when I take photos. Um, so it would have been cool if either they had some other kind of logo insignia to break up this this mess of black or simply just put the zipper on this side. But again, uh, that's not a deal breaker. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the functionality of the bag. It's just more of an aesthetic preference for me. So number two, uh, one feature that's important to some and uh, that you might miss if you get this frame bag is that because it is waterproof, uh, there is no port for a hose for the hydration pack. Now for me, this actually isn't a deal breaker because I hate drinking out of a hose. And usually what I do is I have a water bottle in a stem bag and I drink out of that primarily and I'll stop and refill it with water that's in the bladder. So I hate using the tube. So for me, it's not a deal breaker, but for some of you that uh, like to drink while you're riding and prefer using the hose, uh, then that's definitely something to consider. Of course, uh, one workaround is to just kind of leave a little gap here and run the, the tube through the gap. So another uh, dislike is that there really isn't much organization to this bag. It's basically one big kind of waterproof bag. There's no uh, mesh pocket for keeping small items. Uh, there's no kind of outside pockets for uh, quick to access things. So if you're the type of person that wants a lot of organization in your frame bag, then this frame bag probably isn't for you. And another kind of dislike about the bag, uh, it's awesome that it's waterproof, but strangely I found when riding in really hot temperatures and with the uh, dromedary bag in here, with the, when the zipper was fully closed up, it was starting to cause some condensation on the inside of the bag. At first I thought the bladder was leaking, but uh, it, just, it was just condensation. I mean, that's, I guess, one of the downsides of having a super waterproof bag and having a bladder in it. So that's it for the likes and dislikes. Uh, for me personally, I really like this frame bag because it works on multiple bikes multiple small bikes uh, for me. And uh, for me, not having the hose is not a deal breaker because I don't like drinking out of the hose. And it does fit mostly what I need in there, which is primarily a two liter uh, water bladder, some layers, some food, and uh, some tools. So if you're looking for a bomb-proof, uh, waterproof frame bag made with that same Ortlib quality, and then definitely check out their frame bags. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. If you guys uh, had a chance to use this one, what's your favorite frame bag? I'd love to know. I'd love to try to test them all if possible, but you know, we'll see. So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.